boys and girls, it's that time of year again. So, it's another year of Project for Awesome. I recorded this video a bit earlier, so tomorrow is going to be International Human Rights Day. And because of that, people from schools around my city went to this International Human Rights Day Student Symposium. And the topic this year was Human Rights in the Asian Pacific. So basically today I went to these workshops where we were talking about the little known holocaust of the Asian Pacific. What I learned today was that there are many injustices that occurred back then. Throughout the day we were talking about the rape of Nankin and one of the workshops that I attended was about comfort women, which in reality was anything but comfort. As seen here, we heard about the horrific stories of Japanese military sexual slavery that occurred during the Asian Pacific War. So what happened during the end of the Second World War was that between 50 and 200,000 women were taken from their homes at such young ages. All of them were under 20, some of them as young as 10, who were taken into these military brothels that were used as slaves. Throughout the day we'd hear of the slavery, the torture, the beatings, malnutrition, and just other horrific situations that these women faced. The worst part about these atrocities were that they were systematically controlled under the emperor at the time. And the Japanese government has never officially apologized for these horrendous crimes of humanity. Since the 80s and the 90s, there's been about 95 survivors of these atrocious events that have spoken out about their stories. And as it says here in this pamphlet, Every Wednesday at noon since January 1992, survivors gather outside the Japanese embassy in Seoul to protest the Japanese government's denial in its role in military sexual slavery and its refusal to meet the demands of the victims. And coincidentally, next Wednesday, so by the time this video is up, the Wednesday that has just passed, will be the thousandth time that these people have protested in front of the Japanese embassy. So, if you want to hear more about that story, I will put links to that in the pocket. After hearing about all those stories, I decided to use sexual slavery for my project for awesome. I don't have a specific charity, so I have a bunch of links. Some of them are videos and organizations that deal with sexual slavery. I'll put at the end of this video, as well as in the pocket, so you can go check them out for yourself. And of course, I know that since it's Project for Awesome, you're going to be watching so many videos about so many different subjects. So if you want to, you can go favorite this, put this in your watch later, and I totally encourage you to search up some more of this information. And I know that not everybody has the money to help out with certain charities, or they're not entirely interested in this subject specifically. So I'll also put a link to my last Project for Awesome video where I talk about a free website where you can go and click a bunch of links every day, and it helps out with various things from animals and the environment to hunger and also for women's rights. So I encourage you to leave a bunch of comments, keep on spam wowing, and have an awesome project for awesome. DFTBA. So one of the charities I found is called Love146. Here's a quote that I took from their website about how they came up with the name. We found ourselves standing shoulder to shoulder with predators in a small room, looking at little girls through a pane of glass. All of these girls wore red dresses with a number pinned to their dress for identification. They sat, blankly watching cartoons on TV. They were vacant, shells of what a child should be. There was no light in their eyes, no life left. Their light had been taken away from them. These children raped each night, seven, ten, fifteen times every night. They were so young, thirteen, eleven. It was hard to tell. Sorrow covered their faces with nothingness, except one girl. One girl who wouldn't watch the cartoons. Her number was 146. She was looking beyond the glass. She was staring out at us with a piercing gaze. There was still fight left in her eyes. There was still life left in this girl.